Hi everyone, welcome. I wanted to share this book with you. I found on Etsy. I will link everything down below because um, she is international. I don't want to butcher her name or the title of this book, but this is a hardcover, very stout book. So here's the side. And she, um, she goes by Adi. And I will um, link her Instagram and things down below if you would like to take a look at any of her things. Um, let's get started. So um, as with her other book, if you haven't seen, I also did a flip on her book, Cottages, which also has the really nice, great paper. Um, so yes, here is the beginning. Copyright 2019, so a little bit of an older book, but new to me. Very exciting. So here's some Alice in Wonderland. Um, the paper is cardstock, very close to cardstock. Single-sided, not perforated. They are sewn in, stitched in. I am hoping to have a couple pages picked out of here to have done in November as well. These guys are cute. All their little cute little goat horns. Baby goats. This is a fun page to do. Um, it feels a little Halloween-y to me, but I think I'm going to make it work for Autumn. Um, it would have been fun to make like a witch's cottage or something, but... Or a wizard's cottage. Very fun. This cute little peeking out. <laughs> um, this paper is fairly smooth, so I'm not sure what pencils I'm feeling like using in it just yet. Here's Knight in Shining Armor. I am excited to try out some mixed media on it. Especially like this snow will be fun. It's like the beginning of spring, there's a little bit of flowers peeking out. There's sitting by an apple. Just realized she didn't have a shirt on. Sorry about that. Anyone is offended. <laughs> they like this page too. She draws her houses so beautifully. Oh, I might have to color this one as a late Halloween. It's too cute. <laughs> a little bit of looks like Red Riding Hood. Cute little hedgehog. There's a fall page. He would be fun to do in watercolor. Um, here we call him Puss in Boots, but I'm not sure his original name. Here's a cute page. It's a little strawberry plant. Little ant sneaking up. would be a great one with a morning sky background. Watering the plants. This is cute too. This could be a fun one to color. Oh, this big beautiful wing. Christmas pages. I like that they have a little bit for each season. I'll pull in a big old carrot out of the ground here. This is a large book with lots of pages. Shipping on Etsy is a little pricey depending on where you are. But this is a very sturdy, well-built book with very good illustrations. So I felt 
it was worth it. Probably my Christmas present. Oh, look, there's a little tree guy sleeping. Little cabbages, how cute. That would be so fun. All the things. More strawberry plants. I really like strawberry plants and with the fall feel. Some little piggies. Little tree house type thing going on here. Cat and a dog. She's putting in a mouse and he put in a bone. Interesting. It is cute. It feels almost like a gingerbread style. Um, a few differences, pencils and things. Okay. Feels like a Cinderella type page. The birds bringing her a comb and a mirror. Got a measuring tape. So this book will lay fairly flat once you get it, get into working it and break the spine and whatnot. These just barely arrived, so I have not done that yet. But I am excited for this book. Not sure where I want to start, but maybe with the bear. Oh, this one's cute too, though. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Six. I only see six. Oh, seven right in front of me. <laughs> these I might have to look up. Some of these fairy tales I am not quite familiar with. But they look like they would have very interesting stories behind them. Ah, oh, an arrow. Beautiful dragonfly up here in the corner. And she did not put any English versions like she has in her other books on here. So um, I can show it to you, but I can't read it to you. So there's that if you want to pause it. And then here are her other books again with her contact information, which I'll try to include down below. And that is the end of that. There is that beautiful book. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next video.